how to play poker. And right now I have a three and a six. Straight to the six. I didn't think I was going to win that hand, though, to be honest with you. I have 16,000 gold right now. I came here with 3,000 again. I've been making a lot of gold. Just playing focus. Now I have a pair of eight five kickers. eight on the actual table though so if there was eight on the actual table I'll have a three of a kind and that would be a winning hand. So right now I'm just gonna play it safe. And you see he had a pair of six and three so if I would have I kept betting, I would have just lost my money there. Now I have a 10 shape. High queen. I don't know why we say high queen, it's queen high, but uh, she ain't going to win me no. Goes pair of fours, queen figure. Now a pair of fours. The four is the lowest on the table, and I don't have a four in my actual hand, so that's the iffy on if I will actually win because of that. So I'm gonna fold. It's better to fold if it's an iffy than to play it out and actually lose. James over there is making. Cool. Look at James. James is just winning money here. I won the last four though, he won the last two. I now have a nine and a six. I'm gonna fold because I'm not gonna bet right off the bat with no cards on the table. That's just like losing your money and you don't know what's gonna be on the table at all. So basically the guy next to me made me fold because he bet it and I couldn't check. I had to bet if I wanted to be standing in. Another nine and six. And I'm first so I'm gonna go ahead and check. On the fold because I don't have anything. Nothing that I had was on the table. I didn't have any pairs. They're making bets. All I had was that high, so it was less likely that I was going to win anything with that. So just go ahead and fold. Injury. So it's a good thing I fold. And as you can see, the dealer is not giving me any good hands right now. I'm like getting nines and getting odd number cards. And as he's coming up as pairs on the table, I keep getting queen high and king high and jace high, which I don't usually play those hands because they don't use. I mean, from, uh, level 14, Grace has just entered the game. She'll be in the next round. I did tell her that she was in this video just to let her know. 
So if she, if she ever watches this, hi, Grace. How are you doing? Pair of cakes. Clean cakes. I see I don't have an 8 in my actual hand, so it's no use of me actually playing that because that is on the table and not in my hand. And the game does glitch sometimes on my screen. I mean, I think it's just because I'm recording this record it makes it does do that or something. But he had a full house. See a full house? When I get full houses, I bet and I rage as much as possible to get the maximum of what I can win. there was a king on the table, I would have a pair king and then that three high. It's, well, not just that, but I have a pair king and then that three would go for extra boosting like my cards. So if somebody else had a king and they had, say, a four, they had a pair king and a four, then they would beat my pair king and three because that four is higher than three. There's no king on the table, so that was just an example. Pair of fives. Pair of fives is sitting on the table, not actually in my hand. If I had another pair in my hand, I would bet, I would raise that to the 250, the 120 gold, but I don't have another pair actually in my hand. That pair is on the table, so there's no use of trying to make a bet on it. The winner had a full house. Full houses are great. Anytime you get a full house, and your uh, cards are actually high, you want to bet, raise the bet as high as possible. If you think nobody else on the table has a full house higher than your full house. Now I have a pair of kings and eight kickers. I said pair of kings. Well, I don't have a pair of kings, it's on the table, but yeah, I'm, again, I'm going to not bet for real on this because it's not actually in my hand from the table. It would help my hand, but I doubt that I'm going to win because I really don't have a good hand to go with that pair of kings that's on the table. that she folded because there's two kings on the table. If one of them have a king, then they have, they would have a three, oh, what is the card? They would have three of a kind if they have a king, and she would lose, but they don't have a king, as you can see. But she made a good choice of folding instead of getting money and wasting her money. Seven and a queen. Now, if he throws out something on the table that I can work with, I might make a bet. But I'm going to check before I put any money out. That's the point of check. You're basically checking for what cards go on the table and what the other players are doing. Pair of sevens. I got a pair of sevens. 